back, what are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. I get today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Bungo chapters 387 through 399. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little Bubba Kitty, who's somewhere around here. Oh, hi, Keys! What are you doing? And this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up at PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as the link to our uh, Patreon where we're doing our anime live reaction content. Because unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to um, worry about getting a copyright strike for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So we can have our um, full setup of the anime and manga side by side on the screen and even have the audio to boot, which really does come in handy for busting a botch localization or two. And the more uh, subscribers and views we get over there, the more anime we'll cover as well. And there is a stacked fall anime season on the horizon. Um, so please check out our Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So, well, the last time I covered Bungo, and we covered a lot of Bungo the last time we covered Bungo, just like this one. <laughs> um, Bungo was on the verge of passing out. He was getting exhausted. Oh my god, and he almost passed out on the mound. That's scurry, right, kitties? Oh, he a baseball kitty. He a baseball kitty he is. But anyways, let's get to 387 first. Let's see what's in store for us today. Here we go. Sorry, even though you were studying for entrance exams, I asked you to help. Um, and this chapter is titled That. Uh, no, it's good to have a distraction. More than that, uh, was it smart to not watch the final, uh, Kawamura? Yeah, I realize I don't have any time to waste. I have to train harder and get better or I can't compete with him. Who? Here we go. That's a dumb question. Um, please do. Ooh, too good. What kilometer per hour was that ball hit at? And Kawamura is worried about not competing with someone? Even if I was um, at my best, I can't imagine hitting him when he's like that. I can't compete at my current level. If only Ishihama could always bring that out. Yeah, I love Bunko. No outs, bases loaded. The count is 3-0. Um, Seo Senior has been driven to the brink. What is their ace Ishihama thinking? He's trying not to pass out. What will he throw? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, an easy pitch. Strike, woo! Okay, so I have been very much reminded just now why I, I, I love Bungo's art so much. And that's because of that slow motion that we had and just that background for it too. Oh my God. I wish Diamond No Ace Act 2 was like this. Like this is what Diamond No Ace should have been in terms of the art. Oh my god, I love this manga so much. Strike, it's 3-1. Or, you know, three balls, one strike. Ishihama had control his, um, control this inning. It's not surprising he was waiting to see a strike, but that pitch was right down the middle. Shouldn't he have swung? Ooh, them hips. The back, the shoulder. Oh god, I love this. I love how we're getting, get, we're seeing this. We're seeing where the pitch starts, because where it starts is right in the hip. The, mo the motion in the hip, and then the shoulder. They get the close-up of the shoulder, and then the extreme close-up of like the eye and ear, like you know the profile, and then we see the throw. Oh, I love it so much! Like before, he let that one by two. Um, the count is three two. What's going? What's wrong, Kamogawa? Those pitches to hit. Uh, those are pitches to hit. Be aggressive. I'm not taking. Trying to take these. Use your whole body and joints um, and more, uh, move more efficiently. The trick is the shoulder blade. Um, very, I've got a very good feeling. See, I uh, see, see what we're go See what I mean by why I love this art so much? Because he's move. 
remember, I want to read what was said here. Use your whole body and joints and move more efficiently. Well, that's that's what we saw. We're you seeing Bungo use his whole body and use it more efficiently. And now he's got a very good feeling. Yes, it, this is why I love this manga so much. Because you can see it in the art. It's it's more show more than tell. Love it. Hit now we're at three eighty eight. Hitting tips? You don't need any. Just hit the ball as hard as you can. And this chip, the title of this chapter just makes what we saw in the art so much better. Because what it's titled is Hips, Scapula, and Visualization. Which, literally, we saw in the extreme close-ups in 387 was the hip, the scapula, aka the shoulder, shoulder blade, and then the extreme close-up of the profile, which is the visualization. This is so genius! Like... I see the vision! I had the visualization is titled the chapter two. See, like, I see what Neomia is doing. It's genius! Well, I want to hit, like, uh, hit far like notice on. Please show me how to visualize it at least. Visualize? I don't like explaining things to people who don't have the same level of understanding. <laughs> I want to hear this too. I'll do my best to listen so I can understand. First, you generate power with your lower half, then transfer it efficiently to your upper half, like, again, like we saw in the chapter in uh, 387, and then distribute that force into your swing. Understand so far? It's simple. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, then you'll be in your load. Oh my god, that is so freezing. Relax as much as possible. If you tense up, you'll lose speed and power. Since I'm right, um, a right-handed batter, my sit, uh, center of gravity will be shifted to the right, directly onto my hip, so I visualize all the power I've created uh, being consolidated there. What's it like? Electricity running... Um, what's it like? Electric electricity running through me, I guess? That's why Bungo said. I got a very good feeling. Electricity, huh? Hmm, I love Bungo. The key to transferring the power from the lower half to the upper half is the hips and glutes. Uh, the glutes are the largest muscle on the body, and they support one of the largest joints in the hip. To not lose a micron of force, you have to activate them well. I love that we're getting, you know, like the white where, it, you know, it's highlighting um, the specific parts of the body. You want to, um, you want your load down by the time you raise your foot, uh, front foot. By loading it as quickly as possible, you could swing whenever you want. Oh God, Nina Mia, this art, this anatomical art is beautiful. Once you plant your uh, front foot, the force stored in your hip will spiral through your spine. That spot, the, oh, that spot, the spiral in the spine is just, mm, spiral, huh? Yeah, and oh, I love how he's visualizing this one. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Spiral, huh? Yeah, I visualize the torque traveling through my spine. If you do it right, the bat will go automatically. All you have to do is hit the ball as hard as you can. You could chop it, um, hit through it, uppercut it, drive the ball however you like. Lately, um, I visualize my pat, uh, my bat path as a, a right hand slap, almost like a tennis forehand. I see, um, spiral. Um, I see. You clearly don't understand. That's why I hate doing this. Well, taking into account what I said for a swing. Oh, we're seeing the neurological path. Oh, this is so genius. We're seeing the neurological, yeah, we're seeing the neurologi the neurological branch pathway. That is brilliant. We're seeing it activate, like, you know, it said, we're seeing it activate from the front foot, too. Oh, and going into the hip. And then we're seeing the spine as well. Oh, my God, this is so brilliant. Man, Nina Mia had to study, like, a lot of um, anatomy books. To make sure that they were do he uh, um, he did it correctly. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Ooh, and then there's the swing. Oh, wow, Kayano, you also pitch, right? This doesn't just apply to batting, but pitching as well. Same logic, same vis uh, visualization. Notice on your words alone, I, I couldn't comprehend, but seeing the swing, I understand a bit more now. See. Remember when I said the show but tell, the show not tell? <laughs> I see what you did. All you have to do is take a big whack and bang that thing out of here. What, what are you even saying? Uh, that you made it click for me. 
no tension, relax. And then we're seeing it, Bungo do it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like, I, I, I say it every time I come to this manga. Why couldn't we have this in Diamond Ace, man? And then we're seeing the spine, um, the spine twist. Because if you don't know your anatomical, you shouldn't know this, no basic anatomy. If you don't, then I, I, I feel bad for you. you like the neuro, like all your neurons, like your neurological pathways and all branches and all that, they go through your spine. So like seeing that is just seeing it in action like this is just everything. No waste in force trans, um, no waste in force transfer. His form's pristine. Once the power is transferred to the upper half. Uh, the connector that um, carries it to the shoulder, arm, and fingertips is uh, the secret to, uh, to pitching is the scapula, um, Ishihama. Ah, it's out of the chapter. It's in the title of the chapter as well. Ishihama. Oh, my God. Nina Mia, this is so brilliant. Oh, my God. Earlier than expected. You've made it this far, Ishihama. Oh, my God. This is just heaven for me seriously you know mia like how how dare you go this hard and we're at 389 which is titled uh potent nar pot narcotic oh god but also this background oh my god this color is so beautiful there are those that seem fast because of uh idiosyncratic motions uh there are those uh, that seem fast because uh they hide the ball there are those that who um, are fast by the numbers and that oh damn they are fast by the numbers jesus christ 153.6 kilometers damn um let's see and then uh there are those who encompass all of that simply put a really fast fastball's on its way dude it's so sick i know exactly what to do as soon as he releases it uh, i know exactly what to do as soon as he releases it you have to start your swing oh god i'm just like i swear you know yeah like i posted this on twitter too it's like i'm just constantly reminded of what diamond ace could have been and this is why, again, this is why I love Bungo so much. And also the writing is better at Bungo. I, I, I'm not sorry for saying it. But God, oh, this is what I wanted in Time and No Ace so bad. I, I did. I wanted this in Time and No Ace so bad. And I'm so happy I have it here. I didn't think it in time. Yes! Um, ooh! Oh, did it hit the umpire? It's a pass ball? The runner at third of Sheeta scores. Uh, Katsura and uh, uh, Kisazaru both advance uh, 90 feet. Batter Kamigawa is called out for the swinging strikeout. <laughs> because the runner occupied first with no outs. He couldn't uh, run on the past uh, third strike. Um, Nagariyama ties up the game in an unexpected way. Um, Hakamata, the backbone of Seo, committed the regrettable, uh, the regrettable error. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> That's my bad. It's such a critical moment, too. It's now one runner. It's now one out. Runners on second and third. No, you don't need to apologize. Uh, we haven't um, we haven't worried about that, but is it okay? Is your left wrist okay? Uh, oh, no. Is your left wrist all right? Uh, did the painkiller wear off? Maybe you should switch out. Huh? I'm fine. I just made a mistake in receiving it. We all need to refocus. Why are you, wait, why, why are you acting bossy all of a sudden? Normally, you never make a mistake like that. You're that strong, but that's the risk in catching uh, Ishi, um, Ishihama's powerful pitching, right? Even when you're in a perfect condition, it's a challenge to catch everything. So let me handle the rest. Notice on... What? Notice on Yukio. It was fortunate that I caught in our game against Cheetah. Hey, Noda, it's... um, I'm not as good as you, though, but I can manage. It's not possible, Noda. What? Uh, it has to be Hakamata. You wouldn't be able to catch my current pitching... Oh, Hakamata is the only one who can catch me. Um, Hakamata is the only one who can lead me. There's more to come. Receive it. Um, receive it until the end. It's pretty numb, but I don't care. I already made my decision. Um, my left wrist doesn't hurt that much. Of course. Go. Um, it's pretty. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I fucked this up. My left wrist. My left wrist doesn't hurt that much. It's pretty numb, but I don't care. I already made my decision. Of course, I'm going all the way. This is the last time I can battle with you. Don't give them anything else. Um, we'll get out of this uh, still tied. Um, yeah, 
they are replacing Hakamata. Um, clearly, he has a problem with his left wrist. That's the downside of playing with Ishihama. He shrouds the, the entire team in his insanity. <laughs> the danger, the power. He's a he's as tough as a chapter. He's as tempting as a potent narcotic, and like a drug, that insanity is always fleeting. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> but also, like the thing, I, I'm so spoiled, man. And I keep, I've been saying this in my live reactions lately. We're on the cusp of the third modern manga renaissance. And God, these chapters are just proving my point, man. Now we're at chapter 390. For my emotions to be a stir is a rarity, but I can't figure out why I'm feeling this way. I'm just not convinced in this chapter's title possible. Um, we've tied up this game, uh, but it was due to their error. Does it feel like we haven't taken it, taken it from them? Or it's because I've witnessed a fastball I cannot comprehend? There's no reason why I would doubt that I'm better overall, but in terms of fastballs, he's clearly superior. There's there's no one like him. There are no other middle schoolers who could throw a fastball that good. I mean, how many high schoolers could even match it? Dude, I love this page! The Yin Yang team is great! No. I and also, this background is just... Transition in the background is giving me so much life. No. This... Uh, this fits, does it not? In order to win Koshin, I have to defeat you. I'm convinced of that. God, I can't... Because I know... I know we're getting the high school arc. I know we're getting it. And it just... Just seeing this just gets me even more excited for it. Bottom of the fifth, um... One out with runners on second and third. Sayo are on the verge of falling behind. The jam persists. First base is open. They walked Inaga in his last at bat. Uh, let's take it... Let's take it to him here. I want to limit the number of pitches. As long as I catch the ball, we don't have anything to worry about. God, I hope we get to see this for the rest of um, Bungo's pitches where we're seeing the uh, um, the neurons go up, you know, throughout the neuroc uh, branch, throughout the nervous system. I hope we get to see this for every one of Bungo's pitches from now on. This guy, like his first step that you, uh, he's choked all the way up. Starting from release isn't good enough. You have to start during his motion. Ooh, what? That was still too late. He's on the very edge of the batter's box. Inaga is determined to see the ball for even 0.01 seconds longer. And he missed. Too slow again. Arrgh. Inaga is a good hitter and can't even touch it. Uh-oh, poor Akamata, though. He is in pain. Um, from what we've seen of how he's been throwing, isn't this entirely different? Is this his true fastball? I don't think so. I think there's more. I think there's a little more. Hakamata, let's do it again. Do you have any sense? No, he's definitely off it. <laughs> he's definitely off his rocker. <laughs> but I don't care. Bring it. Oh, and there it is. We're seeing it through the spine. Ooh. And we're seeing it like, I love it. We're seeing um, it go through up the arm, too, and into the ball. This is beautiful. Nino Mia, like, I gotta look, like, because Nino Mia tweets about his progress. Man. I hope you don't kill yourself doing this, man. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. That rotation, it can't be. Yes, it's possible with that form. Minimize the, ooh, minimize the burden placed on the body. Maximize the force output on the ball. With that form, Ishihama can throw all his pitches with the same arm action. No need to place a limit on it anymore. The true fastball down the middle! Oh, he hit it! Or no, he didn't hit it! He got the strike! Oh, thank God. I was like, uh-oh. Did he hit it? Fastball down the middle, swinging, striking, uh, swinging strikeout! In chapter 391, his title is uh, Sublimation. Now it's two outs with runners on second and third. He's no longer doing that normal chest curl to, uh, to generate force for that pitch. Because of that initial um, movement, we could foul off the fastball down the middle by cutting at the ball. Does that mean he doesn't need that initial move um, anymore? He has sublimated his motion to such a streamlined, uh, refined form. To that background with that aura is just so beautiful. Jesus, that's terrifying. Um, yesterday, this must be uh, what Ono and ba uh, Bono saw. No, this is different. Padding six, third baseman, uh, uh, Takawaka-kun. Hakamata gave me an, any, uh, give me any sign because 
right now I could do it all. Ooh, that twist in the spine. Ah! Strike one. Oh my God, this is just, I love it. I think seeing seeing it, that energy go into the ball, it's like, yeah, that's, that's when it, that's the sign of it being like the true um, fastball down the middle. Jesus Christ, it is gorgeous. Strike two, the cur uh, well, I should say the true pitch, the, the curve and the gyro too. Thanks, Hakamata. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, to be honest, there have been plenty of struggles over the last three years. Especially in the beginning, I was made painfully aware of my shortcomings. <laughs> oh, he got whacked. Um, even though I put effort, uh, plenty of effort along the way, um, I want to be in a battery with you. There was a pl there was a period where I didn't see any improvement. With you, my dream is to stand on that stage with you. That's all I want. Um, I would have lost my will to continue um, if you weren't there, Hakamata. Oh, truly, I thank you, uh, Hiroshi. Bring me along with you, okay? Um, on your pitching dream, Ishihama. Uh, thanks. That's my line, Bungo. I'll say it back to you. Oh! What we saw last night was this. Whoa! From the same motion, Ishihama Bungo throwing all his pitches at will. This is so beautiful. That black background and seeing that motion just. Mm. Mm. And also the texture in the clo in uh, Bungo's clothes is just beautiful. Goddamn gorgeous, man! Mm. Swinging strike out. This is insane. I'm stunned. Sara, this is bad. Eh? He's close. There's no time to be complacent. He's totally got me fired up. Ishi, Ishi yes, Ishiyama. All right, let's get to 392. Oh, and this chapter is titled Fastest. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love this. I love this color page. I'm sorry. It's, I think it's just the color palette in the background of this color page. It's just making me hate of the Lion King. And I know maybe it's probably because of Toilet Bath and Noko Cut as well. Because we had that, we totally had that Lion King moment there too. But God, it really is. It's like making me think of like a mixture of like, you know what? I think kind of like Lion King, but more so, um, I should say Armageddon. Yeah. Armageddon feels more correct now that I think about it more. But anyways, it seems my eyes weren't deceiving me after all. You should have pitched that way from the beginning. What a loo- <laughs> What a loo pitch you have, Ishiyama. <laughs> uh, you should have shown it to me sooner. Because look, I'm throbbing. I want a chance with it right now. <laughs> oh my god. Although I don't have the perfect picture of your condition, um, I understand how you feel to a certain extent. Just to make sure we're on the same page, do you want to, uh, to come out, either of you? Not at all. Me neither. Two, they're both about to pass out. It's clear that he's nearing his limit, but he's also pitching his best. Well, that's what I thought. Coach, if the ace says that, do as he says. Please keep him in for me. Um, if they say they're fine, I'm going to watch them more. Do it for me, too. Right, it's their last game, and as a team, we all want to finish it out, uh, finish it with our ace. I can't ignore that. I'm setting some conditions. Giving up consecutive hits or allowing a runner into scoring position. If either of those um, things happen, I'm taking you out immediately. I want to let him win this game. I want to respect the wishes of the players, but I also have to consider their health as well. This is the best way I can think of, of uh, to maintain that balance. A pitcher can only throw seven innings in a game. If this game uh, goes to extras, we'll have to switch him no matter what. Be prepared for that, Ida. Understood. Coach, thank you for your concern. We've got two innings to end this game. Yeah, let's go. Ishihama Bungo has surprised Narayama Sr. multiple times uh, over. Perfecting the gyro slider, throwing the curve from the fastball down the middle slot. All his pitches coming out this, um, of the same motion. Their assumptions and countermeasures have been blown away repeatedly. This must be their first time experiencing it. This overwhelming sense of humiliation. <laughs> Nagariyama is never asleep at the wheel. They prepare assiduously before every game, but they've encountered a force of nature they could never have anticipated. 
in the same year, they have crossed paths with the talent who far surpasses them. But still, um, why, Nagatayo? Per usual, um, you're a worrywart, Dad. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Top of the sit. Wait, that's his dad? Oh, God. Top of the six. Say the seniors turn to bat. There's no issue. Batting four shortstop. Notakan. Um. Okay, yeah, that's. I've, okay, I totally forgot. I'm just like. I was like. Yeah, I, I'm tired. Okay? I've been working a lot. Um. Notakan, here we go. We're finishing this game here. Oh. What kind of expression is that? Joe, oh, what was that pitch? 150 kilometers? Damn, the hell? 153 kilometers per hell. Oh, uh, I said per hell. <laughs> per hour? And Nagatayo sets a new senior record. Finally, it has happened. I never wanted that title to be called a champion. Now uh, we could be true challengers and blow Seo away. Dude! All right, let's get to 393. The pride and awareness of being a champion certainly made us stronger, but that's only one aspect of it. And this chapter's titled Pleasure, because at the same time, it tied us down. Nina Mia, I love you so much for this. The atmosphere, the expectation that we must win. Our opponents, um, sorry, opponents, oh my God. The atmosphere, the expectation that we must win, enwraps us like a set of heavy chains. Our opponents gather mountains of videos and data, carefully plotting out their multi-layered strategies and hiding tricks up their sleeves. On the other hand, we are required to behave in the manner of a Yokozuna, a champion that we will, that will absorb all brought um, against them and counter triumphantly. Honestly, I find it both gratifying and stifling. <laughs> but Sayo Senior is different. Um, an equal foe, perhaps even stronger. But man, that metaphorical art in terms of being a champion, though, I like that a lot. That is beautiful. That is, I don't think I've ever seen metaphorical art like that in terms of being a champion, being royal, but the same, you know, symbol of royalty, but still being chained down like that. I like that a lot. Maybe written or spoken, maybe, but not, um, not uh, uh, metaphorically like that. I like that a lot in terms of art. An equal foe, perhaps even stronger, making us um, unburdened, free, and having fun. Where are the challengers now? Yeah. Ooh. Strike. The count is 1-1. One, one. That's rare. Nota folded on that whiff. Sharp. Has he gotten sharper? His form's wilder, too. Remember, he said he, fe he felt freer. Naga's looking like them. Um, when they're enjoying baseball, um, when they're enjoying baseball, yeah. Hmm. He's not pushing it completely. The changeup. This is um, what he showed with the national team. Flowing um, through a swing with the bottom hand. Ooh, foul ball. Damn, he hit it, though. Wow, there's no way he should have hit that, uh, that ball that far. Um, all these guys aren't cute. All these guys aren't cute. Oh, what a shame. To think he could hit that out. Amazing. Fuck. If you hit that um, far, it's a homer, you loser. What? This always happens whenever I come across a monster, a genius. I see how incompetent I am. Lament. 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 To shake that feeling, I practice like I'm possessed. All that practice, and I'm still nowhere close. There's nothing enjoyable about this. See, it, that's what Inaga's kind of talking about, too, in this chapter, is that, you know, in terms of being a champion, being stifled down, being chained down. And that's kind of what Noda is feeling, too. He feels chained down. He wants to be free. He wants to have fun. There's nothing enjoyable about this. But the truth is, see, I want to have fun. I want to be like those guys. How do I enjoy doing this? What is the difference? Throw it. It's a match. Huh, did you see that? I won. That's right. Right. That's right. I was really nasty then. I love this background. Oh, my God. Um, my opponent has spent his whole life honing his skills and is pitching full of confidence. This is the moment to crush that belief. I tell the chapter, and it would be my pleasure I love this art so much. All right, let's get to 394. 
Um, I threw a complete nine inning game yesterday. I throw multiple fastballs down the middle to uh, try and regain momentum. I'm nearing my physical limit. My consciousness is becoming hazy. And 394 is titled Dead Center. And standing across from me is an extraordinary genius batter. In a situation like this, I want to rely um, on what I trust the most. Hey, Tayo, you can throw an even um, better ball, right? Uh, let your grandpa see it. I guess I mean to return. Uh, and I mean to return to what started it all today against you. It's my first time throwing in this. Woo! In the strike zone, my full power fastball. This is beautiful. Jesus, Nina Mia, like, damn, here it comes, up and in his fastest today. But that's not all. This is a pitch that Inaga has put everything into. But this is exactly what I was waiting for. I'm perfectly prepared to run into this. And yet, it's so fast. It's past me. I'm too late. At best, it's a pop fly. No, I'll reach it in time. Uh, the day that mom left, I promised myself that every day without fail, I trained to the edge of my limits. I never mi uh, missed a, a day of practice, even if I didn't feel great or the weather was poor. Even when I realized I had encountered a genius and my spirit was crushed for days, no matter what happened, I kept going. Trust yourself more than anyone else because you are Noto Yukio. Did he hit it? I felt no, I felt no impact. I whiffed. No, I didn't even, damn, I didn't, damn, I didn't even graze it with the bat. Did it have more ride than I anticipated? Did I gauge it wrong? No way. Was it a breaking ball? How on earth did I miss that ball? At me? Why the hell are you looking at me? Uh, round them already. He hit the ball? Oh my God, come on. Don't do this to me, reader. Oh, okay, I have my backup. Thank God. All right, so we're at 395. Oh, we got a beautiful color as well, which is titled, uh, title of the strongest. See. Note of Yukio's shocking bullet. Uh, Seo Senior takes a one run lead again. Strongest pitcher Inaga threw that fastball with everything he, uh, he had. It was measured at 153 kilometers per hour, but the genius Soda made perfect contact. The best pitch was sent out with the best swing, the ultimate clash. Yoshimi, instead of that, uh, the strikeout pitch um, being uh, down and away, it ended up being up and in. Was that a uh, miss pitch? I can't imagine Inaga making a mistake in that spot. Um, that's what he intended to do. He wanted to limit the amount of distance uh, the ball would travel. With the right-handed uh, Inaga throwing to the right-handed um, hitting Noda, if you compare the trajectory of uh, down and away to that of up and in, the distance uh, the ball travels before uh, you have to make contact is reduced by tens of centimeters. The fastest pitch on the shortest path means the least time to react. He hadn't thrown a single fastball in the zone to Noda before this. Uh, carefully uh, preparing the sequence for that knockout pitch. That was Inaga's best pitch. That's what I think. Oh, shit. I guess Noda being able to turn around on that shows how amazing he is. Mm-hmm. What a fluky hit. I absolutely thought I struck out. I thought I was completely outclassed. Maybe my visual a visualization of slapping through the zone with my right hand allowed my uh, bat to catch up to where it should have been. Oh, I got to it just in time. It must have been dead center for me not to have felt anything. If someone asked me to do that again, I doubt I could reproduce it. I love that the static is here too. Even after hitting him, I still think he deserves the title of the strongest. Ah, title of the chapter. Mm Ooh, here we go. We finished the inning here. Dude, <laughs> on the fouls! Ooh, did Bunko get a hit? Ooh. Ooh, we finishing this game up fast. Two more innings. Six laps left. So the score, so everyone getting out, the score is two, um, uh, two to one. All right, let's get to uh, um, to 396. All right, my reader is back up and working. My other reader was. It's no longer an afterthought for them. Ishihama is seeing, uh, seeing it clearly. Victory, beating the champs, being the best in Japan, and this chapter's title, Final Chance. But what if uh, look, 
instead of looking at the batter in front of you, you're looking too far into the distance. That could be scary. Ooh. Stunning power of finesse, changing speeds. Is there anyone out there who could stop this man? At the end of the sixth, Seo is still leading by one. They're barreling towards their first title. Guess I was worrying about something unnecessary. That guy will be our future ace. Great. Don't get ahead of yourself. You don't know if they're joining. Hiroshi, is your wrist okay? Uh, why are you worrying about other people? You're in worse shape than I am. <laughs> Stop talking nonsense and um, rest up for the last inning. I won't let you um, not see this through. After bringing me along on this journey, fulfill your responsibility and pitch to the end. Uh, we're going to be the best battery in Japan, Bungo. Got it. Top of the seventh, Seo Sr. turned to bat, batting with third, uh, batting ninth, third baseman, Koyanakan. Ooh, it's unusual for the, his command to be this off. Even Inagakan is starting to show signs of fatigue. Indeed, they were putting, uh, they were starting to put good swings on him last inning. If he gives up another run, this game will be over. He's probably in worse condition than me. But Ishiyama Bungo, he's pitched better than me as if he staked his soul for it. But I refuse to back down. I'll pull through. Ooh. Ooh. He's getting them out. The sun never sets. Three consecutive strikeouts. That's his 16th of the day. A spirited look has appeared on his face. This is an Inaga title that we've never seen before. A display of his um, a absolute determination to win. Both sides have exceeded expectations at each turn. It's impossible to predict a winner. After the top of the seventh, it's two to one with Sayo up uh, by a single run. This is the final chance for uh, Nagariyama. All right, let's see. We're at 397. Uh, Rafuka-san, are you seeing this? Of course, uh, Mr. Chisan. Um, I bet they're all glad they're ca they uh, came to watch. 397 has titled everybody. The best of this generation have all gathered here. A sight that's hard to uh, believe. Inaka kan on the brink of, of losing. So this is uh, Boys League Championship runner-ups, up, runner ups, uh, Hirakata East Boys. Kansai's Mr. Perfect Pitcher, um, Higashikata Ku. We're the ones who were supposed to take him down. how they do it? Um... The longest unbeaten streak in uh, Tokai first baseman, uh, Jonin Jonin uh, Kuga, and this is uh, the boys' uh, league championship winners, uh, Kifu Central boys. Seiyo seniors, uh, Noda and Nishihama, um, tough players from uh, um, other leagues who were aiming to beat um, uh, Nigariyama in the Giants' Cups. But basically, that is a tournament uh, to determine the best middle school baseball team in Japan, um, and that has uh, representatives from the seven ma uh, main leagues: little senior boys. Um, Pony, Young, Fresh, etc. Uh, participate. Oh, there are more. Over there is a trio of monster softballers. Uh, we're going to be fighting against monsters like them next year um, and on. The worst. So that's the 145-kilometer uh, fastballer, Rapongi East Middle, Tokyo, uh, Megawa, Rio. Softball is tougher than uh, hardball. Don't underestimate us. <laughs> 100 home runs in middle school. Um, uh, Hokuyo, uh, Middle, um, Tochiki, uh, Yamaguchi, uh, Hattori. It'll be so much fun to face them in high school. Next Generation's uh, two-way player, Amiya, uh, East Middle, Saitama, um, Hame, uh, Shinichiro, um, Nishiyuchi-san, uh, there are still more. You're right, there are famous players all over the place. Is this just happenstance? There are players not from Michihama's generation. Um, wait. Yeah, here we go. They're all so cheeky, and that's uh, Chikunen Gakuen, uh, Fukuoka, pitcher ace, uh, Tonichi Taichi, second year. And then we got, um, let's see, Uwu Daichi, Aichi, pitcher ace, and um, center fielder, main bat, uh, main bat, let's see, Shibaraka Shozu, second year. And I see why Watabe is so infatuated with you, Ishihama-kun. And, um, and this is the uh, Asede, uh, wait, Jizuguyu, uh, that's a Kyoto pitcher and catcher, um, Jiguju now, second year. Uh, geniuses, geniuses, I hate them more than anything in the world. Coach, manager, sorry we got, oh, sorry we got here late. You're really late. It's already the last inning. Whoa, what? Tachibanakun insisted on it. He wanted pancakes from a place in Shibuya. Um, the line was massive. So this is the, um, uh, the Toku, the Toko uh, Gakuen. Osaka pitcher and uh, third baseman um, uh, Takasa uh, wait Takasago um, Norihiko and uh, um, Tachibana uh, Yoshiki and they're both second years. Uh, let's see, a new menu item had uh, just come out, so I shut up. You don't have the. Face 
face of someone who likes pancakes! Hey, 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 that's Coach and Champion, Champs, um, Osaka's Toku Gakuen, the ace in the cleanup, their second year duo has come to watch. Tachibana, uh, Tachibana, Takasago, look, there's Ishihamaka, the one we're after. How does he look to you, Takasago? Takasago kind of played for Mia, uh, Miyamatsu uh, Senior, so he faced off against Sayo two years ago. That's right. I thought he was amazing then, but now he's a southpaw that can consistently hit 150, right? He could pitch in high school right now. It would be great to have him as a teammate. I'd love to have a perfect relay with him. What if he was your opponent? Well, I don't want to think about that. I don't have any pity to spare. I wouldn't go easy on him. Let's see. The best of his generation has all gathered here. It's like an all-star game. Great. Although it's a wonderful thought, uh, could it be that I'm too biased? It's the next gen next generation of baseball fanatics being drawn. Um, uh, wait, it's the ne is the next generation of baseball fanatics being drawn towards him like gra like gravity, wait, like gravity, mighty, vicious, and limitless, such as the talent and brilliance of Ishihama Bungo. There's one thing I have to make sure of. You you did you call Hakamata by his first name? Eh, yeah, I did, but. I thought so. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, rejoice. I'll grant you a special exemption. When you become the best in Japan, I'll allow you to call me by my first name as well. Maybe he wants me to call him by my, his first name? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, that that doesn't sound too bad. He's jealous. <laughs> He's jealous. He wants to to call him by his first name. <laughs> what an idiot, man. Like, come on. <laughs> And chapter 398 is titled Destination. So we're almost done with this game. Here we go. Ooh. So we got two balls and two strikes. Ooh, 142 kilometers. 137 kilometers. 135 kilometers per hour. Damn, Bunko's going the fuck in. And this art is just beautiful, too. Dude, how Bungo isn't collapsing is a miracle. Let's see. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone scored off him. That's no good. All right, let's get to chapter 399, which is the final chapter of this live reaction. And it is titled, The Fight Ends, Another Begins. Uh-oh. Oh, he caught it! Oh my god! It's not over! He caught it! Oh my god! The um the fierce pal that was fought to the limit has finally concluded. The winner of the 48th edition of the Little Senior National Championship is uh, she's Woka's best uh, Seiyu Senior, the first title. Yeah, two one Seiyu Senior. Thank you very much. Um, even in your condition, you managed to pitch all the way through. You were stronger. Congratulations, Naga. Thanks. Sorry, that's not true. I think it's the opposite. The true winner was Nagariyama Sr. If this were a 9 any game, I would have definitely lost. It wouldn't have um, even been a contest. I've only gotten a little close, uh, closer to you, Inagatayo. I have to try harder to um, do more. Next year, I'll take my revenge. Yes! Um, a brand new... Uh, he was... Um, he's now our biggest roadblock to winning. Noda is so dangerous. A brand new galaxy. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the both of them are two an ass one that ass wasn't changed at all what a foul bastard <laughs> dude but that's the real ishihama bongo still frustrated after becoming the best in japan that's really good from my experience geniuses with inferiority complexes grow the most <laughs> ishihama gun will become even more amazing well, the kid's fight has come to an end, but our fight is just beginning. I was planning to stay out of it, but I can't pass up on this gem. We're in on this. Woo! The Los Angeles Falcons from America are here, too. Let's go. This may have never happened before in the history of Senior. The fight to try and obtain both the best pitcher and batter in Japan at the same time starts now. Dude! I'm so hyped for what we're going to be getting from Bungo from now on. And I'm glad, I know people are going to be all pissy at me, but I'm glad I did this live reaction this way. Part of me is kind of mad, but at the same time, 
I'm kind of glad I did it like this for the rest of this game because of the of uh, the page count being the way it is. But damn, let me let me give you my thoughts on um, the game as it uh, on the entire game. This game was incredible. Oh my god, was it incredible? Um, I do. In terms of the pacing, though, near the end. I am kind of annoyed that it's sped up a little bit. I wish, like, I really kind of, I, I'm kind of annoyed by that, actually, now that I think about it. That's the only thing I'm having an issue with. Because Domino Ace did the same thing. Where, um, Domino Ace actually did the same thing where the final um, innings were, were rushed like this. I, I At the same time, I understand why, because Xenomia you know, has been, de you know, is dealing with health problems too. So like, I kind of understand, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I kind of wish it, it like this final inning, the final inning here in particular would have been a, just a little bit longer in terms of Bungo, um, Bungo's pitching. But man, other than, and I know it's a little bit, I know it's a little nitpick and I wish we would have gotten a little bit more perspective from like the other players on the field. Um, but I, and yeah, I know it's a nitpick, but other than that, I'm really for in terms of the art. I love it. I love this art so much. I do. This art is just incredible. I love how we got to see how Bungo perfected his pitch. I thought that was incredible. And same with Noda, like. Noda and Noda's stuff was incredible too in this um, this game, but yeah, I think my issue is with this. I feel like I feel like the end of this game was rushed. I do, and I just have to wonder if if Nino Mia is like I just want to get to the high school arc. I can understand. Like, I kind of want to get to the high school arc, too. So it's like, yeah, I understand, you know, Mia, why you rush parts of it a little, well, rush the ending a little bit. Because it's like, yeah, I want to get to the high school arc already. We've been here long enough. But, yeah, I think this could have been extended maybe, like, maybe a couple more chapters. Maybe a, lot, a little bit longer for, like, just for um, other players' storylines. But I feel... But how, here's how I think how I think this is set up, and I'm very curious what you guys think. Is that Mia Mia has it set up to where if there's and there should be at some point in the anime adaptation of Bungo, they have it set up to where the anime can take this blueprint and add on to it, um, and add like additional storylines and stuff like that if they wanted to, with but with you know of course their permission and whatnot. Kind of like what, what we see with Bleach. What we're seeing with Bleach in um, terms of Thousand Year Blood War. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. So that's why I, I could kind of give it a pass. And also, as I said, I want to get to the uh, um, the high school arc. But man, I love this manga. Like, this manga is... Despite the, you know, the rushing here at the end. To me, this manga is the pinnacle of sports manga. It is. The art just really... Especially this art, man. This art is just everything. Oh my god. Oh my god, Nino Mia, this art is just incredible. I love that. Straight up, I love that we basically had a couple of chapters do a show, um, not tell kind of situation here. I thought that was fabulous. I do. I really am looking forward to what we're going to be getting in the high school arc. Um, I'm curious if we're going to get something similar to... Um, Especially with Captain Tsubasa um, ending the way it is. And I know I'm behind on Captain Tsubasa. I know. I got to do a long-ass live reaction for that. But I'm very curious um, if we're going to get something akin to Captain Tsubasa. I kind of hope so, in a way. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Bungo content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. 
Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.